You are looking at the hieroglyphic wall, just one of the many features you'll find here at Pumpkin Inferno in Upper Canada Village. And I'm joined now with Jeff Wasick, who is the manager here at Upper Canada Village. Sam. What an amazing display you guys have on here. I'm in absolute awe this well, evening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now talk about this display here, the hieroglyphic wall. Well, like a lot of our displays that we have here this year, this one was one of the ones that we had last year. Okay. Um, now we've split this one apart and we've added some new features to it, including the sarcophagus, okay. which is uh, one of the big projects that our students underwent this year. This is obviously a big draw, this hieroglyphic wall. It's pretty sure amazing. Is. But I mean, there's lots of amazing features throughout, you know, the village itself. You guys have totally transformed this. Yes, we have. And how many pumpkins do you figure you have here? We have about 7,000 pumpkins. It's about a 25% increase over last year. Wow. Um, and you've made lots of changes since last year, including having larger pathways for people to move through. Yes, one of the comments that we heard from our, our visitors last year was that we had um, bottlenecks all over the place. And, okay. and what we've done is we widened the pathways, yeah. we've, we've put displays in areas where people can mingle and can look and take their time to, to really take it in. Okay, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, we're walking up to one of the biggest draws last year, or the biggest draw. Pretty amazing creature we have here. Yes. What is this display? This is the uh, Chinese water dragon. This Gorgeous. was set up in our field last year, mm -hmm. and as, as we were saying earlier, is, is that we've used some of the features from uh, Upper Canada Village to a new, in a new way. Yeah. Um, so you decided to put it on the water. This year we put it on the mill pond. Uh -huh. As you can see, the reflection is just amazing. It and is just beautiful. a little bit of a ripple, and it almost looks like it comes to life. So how do you get all of these pumpkins here? How do you put this all together? I mean, there's so much creativity that's involved here. You have a huge team, I imagine. Well, last year we had 15 students involved, um, two lead artists, and they worked all summer from April all the way through to October. Uh, this year we've taken three of those students back and a lead artist, and they've been responsible for doing all of this additional stuff, including the sarcophagus and some extra features on the dragon and our big display, the, the House of Hieroglyphics, or House yes. of Horoscopes. House of Horoscopes, can't wait to see that a bit later on. And it's absolutely amazing that, you know, a lot of this creativity is behind students. And you have a lot of sponsorship involved in this as well. Yes, we have a lot of sponsors for a lot of our, our key displays. And this one, for example, is the city of Brockville. Okay, so you have a lot of partnerships throughout, you know, the park itself. Absolutely. We have lots of partnerships uh, within the park, throughout the park, and with the communities at large. Um, okay. In fact, the communities uh, right next to us, they're hosting a, a Year of the Pumpkin uh, celebration where they will um, be setting up and they've encouraged the residents and everything to set up pumpkins all the way along the route of, of Highway 2, all the way here. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. And another great thing is you also have uh, vendors that are open. Some of the restaurants are open this evening. Yes. Uh, again, something that we heard last year was the food services. We didn't quite have enough. This year, we've opened up. Uh, Willard's is open early for reservations. We also open up the Harvest Barn early so that people can come down from Ottawa, from Cornwall, come have dinner first, and then enjoy the show. And one great thing, this is for people of all ages, there's no age restrictions, you know, it's very family friendly. Absolutely, this is a very family friendly event. The youngest children uh, to the oldest adults um, all can have a, a really good time here right. and enjoy their, their time. Now in terms of cost, it's very affordable as well for the family? Yeah, $13 for an adult. Mm -hmm. um, uh, seniors and 12 and under mm -hmm. are ten dollars okay. and under under six actually is uh, six sorry under six is free wow that's fantastic and of course the hours you guys uh, heading into Thanksgiving are pretty much open the whole time yeah we're, we're open uh, we start at seven o'clock mm -hmm. for the first three weekends and then the last two weekends we're open at 6 30 um, on the Thanksgiving weekend we open right through to uh, Monday most weekends are Thursday to Sunday. And then, of course, the week leading up to Halloween, we're open the entire week from Thursday all the way through. Perfect. And I know you guys have gotten a lot of schools involved. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at that. So stay with us. Lots more to come here from Pumpkin Inferno on CTV Morning Live.